वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स वी बिगिन आवर फर्स्ट डिस्कशन ऑफ स्टैटिक इलेक्ट्रिसिटी दैट इज इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक्स हेंस फोर्थ वी विल कॉल इट इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक्स एंड द फर्स्ट कांसेप्ट दैट वी आर गोइंग टू इंट्रोड्यूस इज दैट ऑफ चार्ज वेल यू सी चार्ज इज प्राइमरीली एसोसिएशन वेर यू हैव two things firstly it is something which is equivalent to a mass and secondly it do not exist actually you see it is more of a convention that we have created well this gives you a kind of confusion as to what exactly is a charge but i would like to tell you in that case that there are basically two things which we have here one is a situation is a case where we have a place where there are excess of electrons well when there is an excess of electron we call this charge negative so there is a kind of a convention that we are following here that whenever there is an excess of electron we'll call it negative similarly if there is a deficiency of electron say there is a deficiency of electron i will not use the minus sign here get confused with this so here there is an let us not take this plus let us call it an excess of electron here and let us call it an deficiency of electron here so that will make it positive so you see this is a kind of a convention where we have a situation place where there is an excess of electron we call it negative and then again where there is a deficiency of electron and we call it positive so since because it is a convention we need to have certain what we say properties of charge so the properties of charge are the first that we are going to discuss now the first property that we are going to discuss about charge is the first thing here that very important part of charge is the fact that charge is quantized now what we mean when we say that charge is quantized is nothing but that every charge is a multiple of an electron charge as you know that one electron charge is nothing but 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb so this n is a integer and previously we used to say that it should be a whole number but now after the discovery of certain subatomic particle called quarks we call that this n can be a fraction as well so the thing that happens now is that we have a equation q equal to n e where n can be any number and e is electronic charge so by this we mean that every charge is in multiple of the electron charge in many cases n is also referred as charge density in that case we mean that this charge density is nothing but the number of electrons present per unit volume so in many cases you will find n to be referred as charge density so in that case n when we write it as charge density we mean that it is nothing but the number of charges present or the number of electrons present divided by the volume of the whole element so that may be handy in many cases to you now the second property what we have for charge is again another convention is a fact that charge is additive now what we mean by additive actually is that we are adding with sign so by additive we mean that we are adding with sign well what does it mean very simple you have plus 5 you have minus 3 you add and you have plus 2 you have minus 5 you have plus 3 you add and you have minus 2 so i hope you got the whole thing that when you are adding a charge it has to be added with the sign that it carries with it so when you add a positive charge along with a negative charge the sign is positive and then negative and positive and the negative why why because the negative charge was more why positive because the positive charge was more so the second property that we attribute to a charge is that it is additive now the third property that we attribute to a charge is the fact that a charge is always 
and always it's very important property i tell you that the third property that we deal with is very it, it makes the charge very different from that of a mass and the property is that the charge is invariant now in every case we are talking about the fact that a charge is comparison with mass now what happens to a mass is that when a mass gets to a very high velocity it changes and it changes according to a relation like this where v is a velocity which should be comparable to that of velocity of light and m0 is what we put as rest mass so you see when the velocity becomes very high this mass changes substantially from the rest mass no such change takes place for a charge you know so for a charge we say that its value q is invariant means if we add velocity to it the value of q do not change so this is a very primary fact that we have about charge but now i must add here that there is the latest developments on i hope all of you have heard of it superconductors where they are attributing a property of charge where they say that well charge is variant to some extent but let us forget that is a part of a very high level physics right now but what we at this level should know that charge is invariant at the same time keeping in mind that the very latest theory suggests that charge is slightly variable in its magnitude the fourth point that we come across a charge is the fact which is again very important for us at the primary level of dealing with charge is the very fact that when you consider a charge we should consider the charge as in terms of positive or negative so in that case we put that another property of charge apart of being that the charge is quantized that the charge is additive that the charge is invariant we say that whenever you consider a charge we should consider it with proper sign so the sign as we attribute to it is no either positive or negative well the very important point is the fact that charge is also conservative that is the net charge of a system is always zero now let us come to the second case of a charge you see if i place a charge here q and simply leave it there then it is going to develop a static electric field so it is going to develop a electric field now if i give a motion to it if i give a motion to it a velocity v if i give to this charge q then apart from the electric field it is bound to it is bound to give a magnetic field as well so you see it can develop a magnetic field as well as an electric field when it is moving and when it is accelerating it is going to give some energy the energy that it is going to give is what we call an electromagnetic energy so i repeat that a statical electric charge is bound to give us electric and field and if it is moving with a velocity without acceleration then it is giving an electric field plus a magnetic field and finally when it is accelerating it is giving us energy energy in the form of binding of these two fields so binding of these two fields give us what we called electromagnetic energy so this has to be remembered that it gives an electromagnetic energy when it is moving with acceleration so that what we have about the fundamentals of charge thank you for testing your understanding of this lesson and more videos log on to www.tubelessons dot net